ready to do the oil pump. Now we went with the Melling oil pump. We also chose to go with the high volume pump that's made for the two valve 5.4 liter motor. That way we're just gonna get more flow, more pressure, hopefully eliminate some of those problems that the 5.4s are prone to with their oil flow. Now the part number of this is M176HV for high volume. I'll put a link to it down below in the description. Now it does come with an extra O-ring that's for our pickup tube, as well as it does have an extra spring that comes with it. Now this here is if you wanna have a lower pressure uh, relief on there, what you can do is change that spring out in there. We're gonna keep it stock as it comes, but if you want to, you can change that out into a lower pressure. The first step of our installation process is going to be removing this backing plate that's held in place with eight T30 Torx bit fasteners. We're gonna go ahead and add some more lube in there just to make sure that that's ready to go. An evenly applied layer of Permatex Ultra Slick Assembly Lube should do the trick. You could also just use some standard motor oil to lubricate this as well. Now we'll do a quick wipe down of our backing plate gasket surface to the pump. We have everything well lubricated on our internals here. We're gonna go ahead and put our steel back plate back on and then put our fasteners back in. Initially, we're just gonna snug these down to where they're just touching the surface. And then we're gonna go back in with our torque wrench and tighten these down to 89 inch pounds in a star pattern. When we go to install our pump on, if you look real close, you'll see it has like a flat side here and a flat side over on this side, and then it's rounded off over in here. That is because that lines up, if you look here on your crank, you're rounded here, but in this case, with this key at 12 o'clock, you see it has a flat side on here and a flat side over here. So you're gonna line it up with these flats lining straight onto there, and it go, should go back and seat right up against the block. Now your backing plate here acts as your seal, so you don't need to worry about any gaskets or seals back here. So go ahead, slide that on, line it up, and then we'll go ahead and put in our fasteners. Now we'll go ahead and tighten down our fasteners. Now they don't give us any set pattern. What we're gonna do is start here in the middle and then go out so that we don't have it get kind of cockeyed in there and cause us an issue. On the factory service manual, they give us a range on these between 71 and 106 inch pounds. We're gonna tighten these down to 89 inch pounds, starting in the middle and working our way out. Now you'll notice here we have an extra slot or an extra hole over here for another fastener. Don't worry about that at this point. When you do your timing chains, you actually are gonna have a fastener that's part of your guide for your timing chains where that fastener goes through it and goes through the oil pump. So this here will get done later. Don't worry about that now, tighten these down. Now just an FYI for you, uh, we did the 89, then we kind of stopped and gave them a feel. And when they give you a range like that, you just kind of have to know how to feel it out in terms of does it feel like it's tight. Now for us, it didn't really feel that tight. We still had a little bit of play in them. So what we did is we went back in, reset the torque wrench to 96 inch pounds, and then we turned them till they felt tight, no more than when it clicked. So that way we now have these all secured. 
All right, so now we're ready to go ahead and put our pickup tube on, and I thought I would just roughly set it here so you get an idea. Now, most of you don't have the advantage we have of having the motor out. You're fighting with it with probably your oil pan on, but hopefully this will give you a perspective of how this goes so you understand. So you have your two fasteners that go in here through your pickup tube into your pump, but over here, you have this uh, standpipe up here, if you will, and it has a, a 10 millimeter fastener that goes into it that secures your pickup tube. So this back here is the reason why you don't have a lot of play on this and you're not able to move it. So the first thing we're gonna do here is we need to get our new O-ring installed on the pickup tube and we're just gonna take some oil and lubricate that o-ring go ahead and get that installed on here and then we're going to go ahead and put our fasteners in now initially we're just going to snug these down to where they're just touching the surface and then we'll go through and torque them to spec Now our factory spec on these for our front two fasteners up here, they're pretty much spec'd out the way we are for our fasteners up front here. These are actually 70 to 106 inch pounds. And we're gonna do the same thing with these like we did on the front ones. And that is we're gonna leave our torque wrench set at 96 knowing that's our max. And by feel, we're just gonna tighten those down. Remember once again with these housings, you don't wanna over tighten it. But we're gonna go to a max of where it clicks at 96 inch pounds. Hopefully it'll stop a little bit below there. Now for your back fastener that secures back here, this one is at 15 to 22 foot pounds. And so we're gonna go ahead and tighten that down to 19 foot pounds, which puts it right in the middle range. Here's just a few pictures of what our oil pump looked like as we started to get our motor put back together and we have our oil pump installed. You'll also notice that we got that fourth fastener installed where the timing chain guide goes down onto the oil pump. Now, once we got that done, it was time to get this primed once the motor was put back together. I just used uh, one of my suction tools and made sure it was really clean. Actually, this one was a new one. That way I knew it was clean. Um, and I just used that to go ahead and inject the oil down through where the oil filter is mounted. We also filled up the oil filter and then mounted that up on the house and then we were good to go. Join me in the next video of our series where we're going to be installing the heads with new gaskets and new hardware. As always, I appreciate you stopping by and thanks for watching. <music>